Welcome back to Will Pod. I'm your host, Will Massey, and today we have reoccurring guest, reoccurring host, Joe. Hey, I'm back. We just got back from the gym. Joe's back in the studio, aka his own office. <laughs> yeah, it's it's looking the same. It's looking. We gotta add some sound foam. We gotta add some accoutrement. Yeah, we're figuring it out slowly. Um, I think the best looking episode you know was Nick Coolers. Nick Coolers. Like that was m- midday. We had the lighting just perfect. Was the lighting about the? It was these lights about the same? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe even like maybe it was like more like. <laughs> Like you just mid shoot moving it. Yeah, I mean, we'll do it live. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it's live. It's it's all focused. With, but the, yeah, the natural light made a huge difference. I think the video before that, I forgot what it was called, but um, that was that and Nick Cooler. I, I edited that video first before I did Nick Coolers, and the color correction's so good on that. I'm very proud of that one. So and I did the same thing for Nick Coolers too. So tell me, will I correct this audio? Okay. What? you had to do to correct vid- color so basically you know i'm i'm i wouldn't even say i'm a novice but like i'm more than a novice when it comes to well, hold on what happened to turn off by me going this way well, even that doesn't make any sense and we didn't have the red button we didn't have the red button no I the last time well whatever the whatever the setting was for last time that looks good now okay. You want you want me to listen to it real quick though? No, that's fine. As long as that looks good, that's that's all that matters. Yeah, I, I can generally tell. Because remember, that wasn't showing the correct. Yeah, thing. That's true. So we were going off of the the wavelength read. So we're gonna go ahead and just all right. There we go. A little closer. Okay. Oh wait, wasn't this little right here? Yeah, yeah. That guy. That like, some dude, Nick Cooler. I didn't realize he he his lips don't move that much when he talks. What? So when I'm like. When I'm singing up the audio, okay, because I'm pretty good at lip reading, I kind of like look at that while I'm looking at the audio, and stuff. Because sometimes, especially with the one that we did with them, we had you guys mic'd up and us mic'd up. So like, yeah, yeah. The only way to like use both was like to cut and match and cut and match and cut and match, and that was um, that was becoming like a mess. So I didn't even do that, and the audio still came out pretty good. Yeah. Um, and he and so I'm used to like looking at the mouth and lining up the, the audio that comes from these guys. Right. With that and that. Because sometimes even when you synchronize, I don't know, I, I, I'm probably not doing it correctly, but it just doesn't look that, or all, doesn't look that good. All I know is you take the two, right-click, synchronize, and yeah. then you pray that the clap was sufficient. Um, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's what I usually do too, but some, like I said, it sometimes it just doesn't turn out. So I usually like imagine the audio with the, with the mouth and making sure that it gets on beat. Um... That's, that, that's kind of hard, man. Shit. I don't know. It's turned out easier for me. I don't know why this guy. Sorry. Oh, no, you're good. I thought that was on. Um, hey, airplane. hey, we got an airplane <laughs> incoming. Um, but he barely moves his mouth when he talks. He, like, talks like this. Like, he really talks like this. And when you watch it, when you watch it, look out for it. It goes like this. And I want to bring it up to him. On Sunday. <laughs> I was like, so dude, and I was trying to edit the thing, and then like you were talking like this, and I couldn't really... You it. made it so hard. <laughs> Nick, like, come on. <laughs> Move your lips more. Flap them. Flap, flap those lips. <laughs> I, man, that was so, so fun listening back to that guy. That was, that was a good was conversation. Good. I was re-watching the Josh one, to the Josh. other... That that was a good one. Dude, Brock one, like, you got to have some time to re That to one it. is intense. That, <laughs> like, it, was, it really is. I think that might be the most intense... Most intense one we've may, done. That may have been a little too much, but <laughs> we just uh, we just kept going, dude. Oh, I man, it's my man, fault. Dude. It's my fault for encouraging it. I think. I think I kept uh, searching no, stuff, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, we got to figure out more. We got to go into the rabbit hole of uh, astrology. Fun. Yeah, dude, it was a good time. Uh, astrology and Hardman, it was good. Oh my god, Hardman! <laughs> I can't wait to have Ali Cooler on. Oh, wait. no, she'll have fun. Hopefully yeah. she'll come take I, my plants by then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she'll probably take it when uh, when we do it. We should try to, I feel like two weeks is a good time notice for them because they're pretty busy. Yeah, yeah. No. Um, but we got to figure out who's coming, if we can do it whenever, this Sunday, next Sunday, whatever. But I'm excited because today you were asking what we're going to talk about at the gym. We just did uh, some cardio at the gym. <laughs> if you haven't checked out the gym vlogs, go check out Will Massey, M-A-S-I-H. It's 
going to be in down below. Um, we finished watching last time we were here, we were talking about Master Cheeks. Uh, we finished watching Master Cheeks, so go check out the glitch camera down below as well. Yep. And you're here watching Will Pod, so you already know about this guy. But you might not have found Will Travel. We're going to be going to Chicago here soon, so don't forget to watch that vlog coming out here soon on Will Travel. It's all no space and the names. All starts with Will. That's the branding. It's Will Travel, Will Pod. Pretty Will. simple. <laughs> and you, Will Pod. you think you people would be able to understand it, but people are dumb. You know what's going to happen? People are going to be like, uh, space or no space? Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna be like, uh, it's no space. <laughs> but I, I wonder. Uh, there's a, a problem having. Speaking of, I don't think you could put a space in a channel name, can you? Yeah. No. Yeah. What am I thinking? We have the glitching hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the problem I'm having is on my TV. Um, there's no update for it currently, and uh, when I look up will travel it doesn't pop up but before when i looked up will Messi, it popped up so i'm like what the heck because i had changed the names mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because previously it was just my name will Messi. so i don't know what happened with that but when i look up will pot it pops up i'm like huh that's weird but then i was like okay maybe it's it was only case the, sensitive and i'm like there's no way it's okay sensitive it might be it's only the channel um that you changed the name on mm -hmm. and it's the channel that you it's my you it's you viewed channel. that chan you viewed the channel uh, the 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 travel channel on your TV before yeah under a different name okay it's probably a caching issue then you think yeah so I would try have, when's the last time you actually like hard reset your TV oh it's been a while yeah there you go yeah just hard reset the TV if that's not enough you might have to hard reset the YouTube app or have it drop its cache or something okay stupid okay. stuff like that. Shouldn't have to do that in 2024, I don't think. No, but we're still here. This is where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> and people still have allergies for no friggin' reason. Or actually, okay, if you have enough money, you can pay to get the shot and just not have allergies. But What shot? Like, what? There's like a shot you can take that like, it's like you don't have allergies for like six months or something like that. Oh. Or longer. Okay, okay. But it's like stupid expensive. Man, you got to love those those shots that are like, yeah, for six months, you'll feel great. And, or a couple of weeks, you'll feel good. Like the injections they had, they're like, you know, maybe a couple of days of relief and maybe a couple <laughs> of months of relief. I was like, really? Okay. Wow. That's a variant. And it sounds terrible. It's weird. It's all weird. <laughs> so uh, what are we talking today about? Yeah, today? I was about because, to because we, we, yeah, we we're hungry. We just finished a long spot of cardio, but I figured we talked about sleep. Why sleep? Because I've been i um, very curious about sleep for a long time, and I researched sleep a couple of years ago, just like a little bit, um, and Joe, regarding sleep, has been tracking his sleep for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This past year, I've kind of busted the tracking a little bit just because I keep falling asleep on my couch, so it's, I used to like be able to track it pretty well. I still do occasionally, but... You'll see with this awesome app that I have, <clears throat> you can see when my tracking kind of got messed up. <laughs> Statistic. Because the, 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 sleep, the sleep quality, you know, it'll run like a... So what app is this? What is this? It's called S Sleep Cycle. Sleep Cycle. Um, and it's a paid app or free app? Free app. It's a free app, but a, you can pay $2 a year um, for the paid service, which then kind of keeps your data for you. Um, it'll track some sounds for you. Like, uh, you know, if you're snoring, mm -hmm. if you're screaming in your sleep, stuff like that. <laughs> I, there's been a couple you times. Screamed I don't, I don't like a nightmare. Yeah. You just, oh my God. I, it, I'll never forget poor J Wags. Uh, when, who was my roommate, uh, Kala, it, it, Oh, you haven't, you haven't college. done this since college? I college was a bit stressed. No, nah, I've had some night terrors, and oh my god! But it's so weird because, like, and I guess on the the topic of sleep, like, I'll the couple of times that I remember doing this, and the one time was to Jay Wags. It was like six the board, and then I'm like in my bed that's across the great, room. Now that I met him, that's such a good person to do that to. That was probably so <laughs> funny. Dude. He was like Joe, yeah, Joe. I'm like. <laughs> Dude, that's I, terrifying. Dude, well, it's the worst part is I know it's when I'm trying to scream in a dream. Because 
God. I have this reoccurring. That's, that's I, I have this reoccurring nightmare. Not like reoccurring every night. It'll come back every like couple of months and stuff like that. Where that's perfect. something stressful occurs mm-hmm. and my intuition in the dream is to shout um, to get um, somebody's attention or to get help. And for some reason in, in those dreams, I never can get the shout out and it will eventually translate to me trying to do it half in my sleep, half not. Oh and it's my like, gosh. I think it's like a paralysis sort of, a paralysis yeah, yeah, that's sort what of it thing. Sounds like. Um, where I'm in, in between sleep and waking up and I'm still like, my brain is still like in that fight or flight mode. Mm-hmm. And it's like now that I've, you know, there's some sort of consciousness that's trying to actually physically perform what's going on in the dream or something like that, or in the simulation that our brains run at <laughs> night. Dude, um, that's a dance with. But yeah, so Ooh. I did that at the JWAG senior year. <laughs> Happy <laughs> graduation. Uh, uh, he's like, Joe, Joe, wake up. <laughs> what did, what'd you say? You're like, uh... I just went back to bed. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> what, what am I supposed to say? Like, uh, you're like, oh, I had a right. night terror dog. Like, because, like, by the time I was conscious and aware, like, it was the damage was done. You know, it was it was quite a few seconds of that, and it was just like, it's six in the morning. I gotta go to class in a couple of hours. Oh. I'm I'm just passing right back out. Oh, oh it, I hate those dreams. Oh, don't like. Do you want? Say what it is. I mean, you don't have to, but like, it's not, it's not anything specific. Like, I, I like it. Like, you're getting chased by like Jason or something. Like, what kind of, you know, I mean, like Freddy Krueger is like in your dreams or what? Um, God, I actually can't even think of what or like, so it's been that long. Triggers some of these. Yeah. Well, the last time I think I consciously remember doing that was when that girl was staying here for a while and oh and i did it and, all right so high stress environments <laughs> and she was like she's like you know you you, you shout and you're 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 uh you're sleep sometimes and i was like yeah unfortunately you yeah. some water no <laughs> no uh, <laughs> no uh yeah i think it is stress related actually i think and well like, like senior year of college right yeah. was it like tail end or like mid or like midterm? I think whatever. it was mid year, somewhere around there. I remember it being cold, I think. I feel like midterms back in the day was more were more stressful than finals. They were. Because like you have the added fact of like, okay, I could drop. Like, do I have to? Should I drop? Should I withdraw? Whatever it is. That was always fun. Like right at the end of the semester being like, okay. Cause I there were a couple of classes I dropped actually. Mm-hmm. Um over the co- course of the uh, four years there, just to avoid tarnishing my Jeep. GPA too much. Jeep. Yeah. Um, it's such a s- weird, stupid freaking thing, dude. You're like, oh, you're doing bad in the class, but you can drop it. Like, your GPA matters, but, like, it doesn't matter, but then it kind of matters. And the next semester, it might there might be the standard, you know, like, you have to maintain a 3.2 or 3.5 or whatever it is. But the next semester, you don't. Well, like, we that? had our attrition... We had a higher standard. Yeah. And they had to drop that because people were rolling out so much. And so like the next one, so I was like, dude, whoa, whoa, why are we dropping the standard of like the thing? If you can't hack it, you just can't hack it, I guess. You're you dropping the standard and increasing the price. It makes no sense. It's just <laughs> stupid, right? Like, yeah. I just don't get it. I don't get it. But, um, but yeah, so I've been tracking the sleep mm-hmm. for since 2016, early Wow. late 2015 and it's been nice to kind of like see you know what sort of patterns i've established over the years um and what works for me and what doesn't and it's very evident like in the in the in the data when you look at it like um you know i i get better sleep of course when i go to bed at, at an early really time. yeah so <laughs> and it's like well of course and and and, and that's partially why like i still try to track it as much as possible because it also doubles up as an alarm yeah. As a um, an easy alarm, so, so like, like it'll wake you up like slowly. Like, um, does it play like soft music or something, or like? Well, since it's tracking, yeah. it's tracking your movements and the and the ambient sound and the sounds that you're making. Mm-hmm. Um, and it even has a new feature, which I'm kind of curious as to how it's working. But it, you know, a lot of phone, a lot of phones have a 
light sensors on them, actually, so it can detect ambient light. And then you could see uh, no variation in lighting conditions, actually. Hmm. That's weird. How does it even do this? No Not off. But I it... Uh, but yeah, I mean... What was the question you asked me? <laughs> we were just talking about that app. And how does it wake you up? Like with the oh, slow, right. like quiet, like a uh, soft alarm, you said? Yeah. So you, you, you set, you know, I'll be like, okay, wake me up no later than 9, 30, oh. uh, 9 a.m. And it says, okay, between 8.30 and 9 a.m. If That's it cool. sees that I'm not, or if it sees that I'm either leaving REM sleep or I'm about to try to go back into it, it'll be like, okay, well, we got to pull them out sort of thing. So like. That's cool. It tries to wake you up at uh, like a smart time, I guess. Um, Instead of like rushing you at that time, like bam, bam, bam. exactly. So it slowly will like whatever it does increase the music or turn it up or do a different sound or something. Yeah, and so yeah, so that's the, really cool. The first time it'll start like it'll start quiet, like you said, for like a minute, and then it'll mm -hmm. get louder. Um, and I can shake the phone to like uh, snooze it. Um, and then that's I know cool. it, it, it's dangerous actually. You're just like, shut up. Because I'm just like, shut, shut up. up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh, shut up. Shut up, damn it. <laughs> that's good. I, I mean, I just like stagger alarm by like one minute, but that's way better. <laughs> no, it, it, it feels cool. it feels more natural, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's what it sounds like. Sounds freaking awesome. Yeah, instead of having the <laughs> dude, I have had the same song for like years and years. I've yeah. I've had to switch because it'll I use custom ringtones only, so it's all music. The, the song, like the music, will like stress me out. <laughs> but this one I've been stuck stuck with for a while. Actually, let's see if I can. That's a nice sound. Uh, I think uh, I, I might have to actually change this. Just hearing that, <laughs> you're like, hey. Yeah. I used to have this one for a while. It sounds like you're. Like fighting in Halo, literally. <laughs> it's like literally like you're charging up your rifle. Yeah, what the hell? In Halo. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that was gross. <laughs> oh, rain. Rain and wind. That's really good. That's a cool one. Premium sounds. Do I own these? Oh, I do. Nice. This one's so weird, dude. It's, you know what that sounds like? Literally someone playing on a piano app on a phone. That's yeah. That piano sounds like, cheese. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> You're like, he's just playing. No. Yeah, yeah. You wake yeah. up. <laughs> this is a dream. Oh. <laughs> wake up, Joe. <laughs> oh, my God. You got to work. You got work to do. <laughs> wake up, Joe. It's midterms. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I can't remember the last time I had a night tear. Knock on wood, I'd never have one again. Jeez. They suck. They're, they're not fun because they're not fun. But um, <laughs> yeah. the uh, <laughs> what's funny, though, is like some dreams. I guess uh, let me ask you a question. Have you ever lucid dreamed? Can you explain what it is? So excuse me, I'm about to start dreaming right now. Jeez, I know, dude. I'm tired. I'm kind of. I'm, I'm struggling. Hungry and diet. Yeah, we, we're we're trying our best here. <laughs> it's been entertaining. And we're talking about sleep. I know. It's you had sleepy. But uh, lucid dreaming is when you um, essentially recognize when you're in a dream and your your conscious mind takes over, but you're still sleeping. I've done. Um, okay, hundred percent. Nice. It's, it's it's most of the time it's a good time. Like. Real good time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. I don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what it's um, <laughs> this one time I had a lucid dream. One. I don't because you can really train yourself to lucid dream like every night if you wanted, and people like do this. I feel like that's something that Joshua would do. People do this to like solve problems in their sleep. I'm like, that's the last thing I want to do, dude. <laughs> what? Like yeah. work problems? It's, Forget about it. Listen, I'm telling you, I think we're in a good time to live right now, and I'm worried about our kids and the grandkids because of the way that we're learning how to interpret brain waves um, and brain oh, activity. Yeah. Because I feel like there's a lot more. They're going to be like way more stressed out than us. There's going to be nothing. You're not going to be able to hide anything. Yeah, that's what's yeah. scary. Is like yeah, our brains crazy. and our heads are the last 
<laughs> sense of refuge we have from this world. And now Where everybody knows everything. And now yeah. now I'm seeing researchers show them decoding brain waves. Oh yeah, yeah. And to yeah, be like, yeah. okay, like they 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 did this one study where this person they're like, okay, look at this picture and describe in your brain what you're describing. And then from there they could decode the brain waves and it was like, I'm thinking of a person that looks like this, 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 and this. And it was like, oh my God. Well, they're literally in interpreting thought. Yeah. Which is crazy. So once you interpret thought, I mean, who knows? You'll be able to influence dreams. The, the joke keeps going around. Wait until the neural links start, you know, buzzing the ads right into your head. And I'm like, oh my God. God. And you know, everyone's like, oh, it's, that's not going to happen. And I'm like, uh, yeah, it is. I mean, not to the, like, it, it definitely will happen. Why, the, why wouldn't it though? The greed is so strong. Dude, just from what we've seen with, I don't even want to get in on this tangent, but like all the increases in interest and increase in like percentage of tax, like I don't even want to talk about that. But like just <laughs> friggin' Hulu is a good example. Yeah. That's just a small example that people can relate to. Friggin' watch all watch these five, six. I remember when Hulu didn't have ads at all. Zero. Prime is even worse now. Like the, the, the Prime oh, stuff is actually, you, you can't charge people the money that you are and then all of a sudden be like okay we're gonna just start doing ads that's absurd what's crazy is you get the prime prime video and amazon prime package thing and they're like oh yeah you still got ads and you're like oh i'm getting this to get you're screwing me over by not giving me shipping so i keep subscribing but like you're giving me ads and if i have to get that away i'm just paying the cost of shipping i don't know if it's <laughs> worth it anymore it's why i canceled netflix like it's why i might rebundle Hulu and uh, that's the problem is, is they want you to start bundling all this shit and it's like it's like dude bring back TV it bundles them yeah that's seriously. just what they're doing with streaming but um it's gross how the hell did we get here going back to Lucid Dream um Aerolink oh yeah that's everything yeah no so I mean like you can train yourself to Lucid Dream and but I don't want to do that because I don't want to I, I mean, it would be cool to control your dreams, but at the, I don't want to fall into that trip. Yeah, that's true. Because there there are signs in, in dreams um, that you can train yourself to look out for. And that's what it's kind of triggers your consciousness. Exactly. God. And I I inadvertently have had that happen quite a few times. Like one of you them grow was, or something? No, I was happened? back in transit middle school, dude. <laughs> and I'm and I'm sitting here in the lunchroom of the in in this dream next to the gym. Yeah, and I'm like going through the dream, going through the dream. Boys are chilling. We're at the table. All of a sudden, I'm like, dude, wait a minute. I graduated school how many years? Now? Like, I shouldn't be here. And then and then I was like, okay. Oh my god. That's when my conscious brain took over. I, you got I stood up and I was like, I looked at the like this this one kid that I hated in, in high school. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I beat you up now. I think I slapped him or something <laughs> in the <laughs> dream. And I'm that's like, awesome. I'm like, start crying. And then he starts crying. Oh, and oh, and I was like, oh, that's creepy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was. Cool. I thought you were gonna get a cookie, dude. But the, the best cookies in Buffalo. I would. I. Can bet on that, but but what was funny was this, as soon as as quickly as it like I realized I was lucid dreaming I I was able to do a couple of things. Um, Did you steal stuff from that little no, market? No, God, like, give me the erasers. Give me the erasers. God, I forgot. I need the that. mechanic. Dude, that pencils. was like a that was like a closet that was in cool. the in the cool. in the hallway. I always wanted to work there. I just didn't know how to work there. Just That'd like be cool. That was give me the lifesaver gummies now. Like, what? That was cool. That's sweet. Oh, well, like. I don't know. You can so quickly be tossed out of the lucid dream, though. Too is like if you if you like go too hard on something or something. Literally, like when when Leonardo DiCaprio's uh, training. Uh, I don't even know what her job was, but they start they attack. Oh, they start attack. She's the architect, or or no, she's not the architect. I don't remember. I gotta rewatch it. Inside. I haven't they seen start it. Attacking. I gotta see it. Say, say, you haven't seen <laughs> no, Inception? I, no, not after all these years. Never? Yeah. No. I, I'll see, Dude, I've seen like... watch it on Friday? Oh my God. For April? Yeah. Yeah, we could, we could. Dude, Inception's like here in movies. You're going to love it. I, it looks good. You're going to love it. No, for real. 
I know Zane loved it. Dude, it's like, all right, write this down. <laughs> Inception. I'm going to forget about it. I need to write it down. Inception, Inception. on Friday. Okay. Jeez, man. We got to watch that. <laughs> um, Continue. With no, I getting mean, yourself kicked out of the lucid dreams. Well, no, it was just, you know, you did something, you, you tried to push it too far and your brain just jolts you up and wakes you up. Um, it's intense. So I'm wondering what you've done in a lucid dream and how you've, how you've kind of recognized or, or you think it's been triggered. Um, I, it's been a long time. I can't remember the last time I had one, mm -hmm. um, lucid dream. I just know that it was really cool. I feel like, I mean, most of my dreams, I rarely remember my dreams mm -hmm. at all. Or do I even remember dreaming? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if I'm even dreaming. And I feel like I, I haven't dreamt, I haven't dreamt in a long time, which is not good, but. <laughs> it's weird. I mean, that. As my sleep quality gets better, I do dream more. Yeah. But like, like last night, which is crazy. We're talking about this. Maybe that's why I brought it up. Last night, I. I actually had a dream. I remember that I had a dream, but I don't remember the dream. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's how it was cool. Yeah. I was happy. I literally was happy, but I was like, oh, dude, I dreamed finally. It's been like years. Well, years. When I first learned about lucid dreaming and I was reading about how you sort of trigger it, uh, one of the biggest things was like, you need to remember your dreams. And to start that, dream like journal. dream journal, yeah. as soon as you wake up, you have to write it down because five minutes later, most it's of it's gone. gone. Um, so I, I started doing that for a little bit, but then I was like, all right, now it's, See, it's, it's like, a lot of work. It's like yeah, messing with dream stuff is like kind of creeps me out. Well, I mean, you're messing with your subconscious at the yeah, end of like, the day. Do I want to? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I genuinely believe we're all, I think you can very much, it's I'm trying to think of the best way to say this because it's, it's all mental, you know? Like that's, that's what we say about so many different things. Like if it, yeah. you're taking a drug and you're going crazy, you got to take a step back and try to remember that it's all mental at the end of the day. Um, you just, oh man, you just like, you're just, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah. That kind of, it's like training your brain. That's yeah. like working out your brain. It is. It's another way. Uh, and it's like, I think. That's interesting. What is it? Is is the brain is the brain is the biggest biggest muscle? Is that what they say or whatever? I think <laughs> I think the heart is. Okay, it's one of those. I don't think the brain is a muscle, but the heart the heart like contract. I don't think your brain like contracts the same way as like mu I don't know. Either way, either way, you got to treat it like a muscle, and you got to yeah, you got to train it. I wonder if it does. I wonder. Oh man. Okay, now I'm curious. Okay, I know the most important muscle is the heart. Yeah, <clears throat> but I guess if you don't have a brain, what's the point of a heart? Yeah, that's true. Like if someone's like a if someone's like a pea sized brain. Yeah, but their heart's pumping. It's like what is it pumping? Even like nothing. Pump up the jam. Um, oh man, that's interesting. Now I'm thinking about brain because I used to do a lot of brain training, mm -hmm. and it, and honestly, like a lot of this stuff's worked. Like especially like memory stuff. I love those types of games. That's why I'm really good with memory. Like show me a pattern, I can remember the pattern. Like I love that type of stuff. Yeah. Or like Kim's games, like memorize what's on this table. Okay, cool. I love doing that type of stuff. So that's kind of interesting. You're like training. If you train your sleep, if you remember, if you train to remember your dreams, obviously in your sleep, it's like making your brain stronger in your subconscious. Yeah. yeah. Because your subconscious is just the, it's just an extension of your consciousness at the end of yeah, the day. Yeah. And um, it's, and if you want to go even deeper, like, your subconscious is just a bunch of chemical reactions occurring and nerve yeah. impulses. That's um, interesting too. Like I've been really getting into that is like everything is just like neurons firing. Yeah. I'm like really thinking about it. I'm like, it really is like any reaction that you have is like because of this other reaction from your nervous system. And then, and the, and the crazy part about, you know, neurons specifically is like, it's natural occurring, you know, electricity, if you boil it down to simplicity, you know, and a lot of that comes from salts mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. It's like, that's why electrolytes are so important. 
Yeah, it's fucking wild. It's wild yeah, stuff. Yeah. That's why hydration is so important for you, literally for your brain. Yep, it's crazy. Um, we are thirty minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes in, we're talking, we got all sorts of places around sleep. <laughs> yeah. What was the original thing that you wanted to talk about? Just, discuss, just discuss sleep okay. in a general form. Yeah. But uh, that's that's so funny. We just didn't even like go. These are your notes from 2016? Yeah. I just dated it, but I can remember that I did it in like 2016 because I hadn't graduated yet. Nice. And I graduated in 19 because the next thing is 2020 was the next thing, which was <laughs> so that was that uh <laughs> this is my random knowledge notebook i love this thing so like i have i have stuff from from sleep to acronyms to morse code all sorts of stuff oh look at that using household unscented bleach to purify water that's really good i need to find oh, this is you'll love this dude Lens? we should talk about this levels of the internet yeah dude oh man yeah, what the this hell? was a rabbit hole dude <laughs> Look at that. 2022. It's sort of manifestos oh, of your writing here. No, it's just information. Like stuff that's stuff that's um interesting. Like look at that. The highest level, level eight. Oh my god. Prime what? The Prima Arc system. Impossible to access with <laughs> Dude, it's crazy, dude. Control. Okay, we, we gotta talk about that. Yeah, look, save it, save look, it for another. And then down to buying look, buying a car. Here's one way, here's another way. Look at that. It's just not it's <laughs> just all sorts of oh Nicholas was asking me about vegan proteins and I was breaking it down to him. So I started writing about how to have a complete protein mm. and then and then what's the best vegan protein for him to buy. And then look <laughs> next page, different drinks, different mixtures of drinks that I like, like a left hand bourbon, Negroni with bourbon. Like that's awesome. That's a, that's hilarious. Dude. It's cool, man. Now, I got to find this one notebook that I had that had... Um, I love it, dude. I love it. Video game it's idea that I had. Dude, speaking about video games, I was doing the Nick Cooler thing, and I forgot that he made that Call of Duty song. That is so funny. Oh, my. Let's see, it's, it's coming out tomorrow. Let's see, Chuck. But, yeah, next thing I'm, I'm investigating is lighting, because, I mean, not just this, but that's all that cinema is lighting. All cinema is lighting. If you have no lights, you have no camera. It's crazy. No lights, no camera, no action. No lights, no camera. All right, let's break into sleep a little bit. Let's just go over kind of like a small synopsis and maybe we'll just hop off because my stomach's literally growling. Okay, okay. Um, five stages of sleep. The two main stages, REM and N-R-E-M, REM. REM is rapid eye movement. And then N-REM is non-rapid eye movement. That's cool. <laughs> and those are the main two stages that everybody talks about. Yep. And REM is where you get most of your deep sleep. That's what, yeah, that's what I've heard. And I love this little watch. That's one of the main reasons why I got it was for the sleep tracking ability. Okay. It's pretty, I mean, this is like the cheapest watch. I think it was 30 bucks or 40 bucks. It's good at two things. Mm -hmm. That's the best at walking and good at tracking sleep. So I really love this thing. Um, what is it? What does that track in your sleep then? So it shows basically how many hours by heart rate how many mm. hours I was sleeping, and then it'll show like um, if I entered REM or not. Okay. So it'll have like purple, light purple, fuchsia, and then yellow, and yellow's REM. It's like oh nice, okay. So based off of heart rate, based off of what you've seen in that tracking data, do you notice like you're more tired in the morning? with less REM or, you know, a REM cycle that was just right before you woke up? Mm -hmm. um, definitely REM, the more REM I have, the more rested I feel personally. Mm -hmm. um, and then it happens like that maybe three-fourths into the sleep cycle or in, into my whole sleep duration. Is when you find when it. I get REM. Okay, okay. It, it never happens in the beginning. It, it takes a decent amount of time. Yeah. So three-fourths and usually is about where... I see my rim, and I, I'd like to know why. It's pretty good. But like I said, I barely see it. But when it's you so see it, it's like really good. So weird because like you can knock out. And instantly. Like, and like instantly. Yeah, it's crazy. And like, and, and I'm jealous of that. But it's not restful sleep. That's the that's yeah. the weird thing. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> I can I could sleep, at, and I don't have like narcolepsy or anything. No. But like if we sat down, I could be like, all right, guys, I'm, I'm done this so many times. Yeah. All yeah. right, guys, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep clock for like 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Down for 15 minutes, yeah. See, I can't do that. I don't know. Don't know how you do it. I, I've always been able to do it, but now I can really control it. 
mm-hmm. as like an adult. Because mm-hmm. I've honestly, like most of my life, I've been just tired, like most of my life. Yeah. Just straight up. Like, yeah. Like I remember in school, I, like my teachers would be like, he's just tired all the time. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about it? I don't know. That's why I, I, I use a lot of caffeine for other reasons too, but I use a lot of caffeine to keep me as much zero did as possible. Um, Cause you're a tired boy. I'm a, I'm a sleepy guy. <laughs> I'm a sleepy guy. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, sleep. Yeah. Yeah. So now I can control it more where I can be like, okay, 15 minutes, I'm going to knock out and I'll be up. But before, like it was, it, it took a while. Like I would want to sleep and take a nap, but like I couldn't get to like a deep level of sleep. But most of the time it's not that deep anyways. But a lot of the time growing up was like, okay, I'm going to, I want to take a nap and it'd be good for me to take a nap. And what I found, like a lot of people take naps and a lot of like, a lot of people trying to do stuff or build stuff, take naps and have always took naps because it boils down to like their tasks at hand. Mm -hmm. If it's like mentally straining, you go from one mentally straining to another mentally straining task. Some people need to take that nap in between to like kind of reset. But then some people don't. Some people just go bam, 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 bam. For me, most of the time, I can go for like most topics, like a very, very hard hitting topic. I can go for like six hours straight. Right. Then mm-hmm. if I can sleep for like 30 minutes to an hour, then I can go for another six hours. Well, the, you know, sleeping has countless benefits, but, you know, I've seen one in it. I've seen a cool MRI of it actually uh, where they recorded somebody sleeping and, and they visualized and showed how the brain will kind of wash itself with um, fluid um, really? to kind of like when it. you're sleeping to kind of clear it of, um, you know, like uh, I want to say dead cells, but I'm not, I'm not sure if that's exa- the right term. It's like a little housekeeping. Just yeah, like it, it, flush. it it flushes your brain essentially of, that's I cool. guess, proteins and, and, and stuff that you don't need. Yeah. That's cool. So that, I, Thank you, brain. That would make sense. Thank you, body. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know how our brain, I don't know. Evolution's wild. Dude, we don't even understand the brain. I mean, we're no. Not, we, like, we can't even replicate an eyeball. No, they're still trying to figure it out. Easy. It's, it's, uh, it's insane. We're still trying to figure it out, but they're figuring out the wrong things, like we were talking <laughs> about earlier. Yeah. How to, how to, Read your mind. <laughs> you literally had to read your mind. You know what's going to suck when you go to the airport and like, oh God. They're already scanning your face. Now they're going to be like, let me scan your brain. And it's like, are you God. thinking about terrorist activity? <laughs> it's like, dude, no, I'm just brown. Leave yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus. That's too bad. We have to frisk you. Did no I tell way. you, the, speaking of frisking, did I tell you the new thing? Usually it's my back and they always do my back. Yeah. yeah. The new thing is crotch. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, four times I've been there. They've got They're me. Like, do you the, want to go into a room? I'm like, no. Yeah. I want you to be embarrassed to do this to somebody else. Exactly. Just friggin'. Cry. That's what I would say all the time. Because for a good while, I don't know what it was, if it was like certain jeans that I wore, but my crotch would always get flagged. And I'm, What's going on? And it got to the point where like I saw the one time I went. It's red. I saw, because the screen's behind you. Yeah, yeah. You walk out, screen's behind you. I always look at the screen. And I don't look at the screen. I look at the guy looking at the screen. And I I could tell when they're, you know, they have to. And I looked at him like, let me guess, it it flagged my crotch. And he's like, how'd you know? I'm like, this happens every time that I've come here. And he's like, I got to patch it down. I'm like, all right, (laughs) Get, get your cup full, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't. What is going on with that? It's stupid. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it either. I don't it's in this it. machine, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. I'm like, dude, if this thing is flagging people, because like, I feel like I see more people getting patted down with that than they do with the wand. It's like, dude, why are we even flagging here? Nothing. It's a drawstring, dog. I don't know, man. They, um, meanwhile, you hear about them like, <laughs> Letting all sorts of weapons through because there's like a bunch. It, they do not Dude, have a good track record if you look at the numbers. Everybody makes fun of the TSA. Yeah. Everyone. It's crazy. And it, and for a good reason. Like, why? What are you doing? And, dude, you know what they always get right, though? Do not leave your bag unintended or you will be flagged for or whatever that thing is. You hear that a hundred times in a minute. It's, in the airport, you're like, 
that's why I always have to bring all my luggage in the bathroom because I'm like, I can't, I can't, well, for one, I'm not going to leave my stuff out in the open if I'm alone, but like, I'm, I'm afraid if I leave something out like that or, or just for a second, just for a second, they'll be like, he's a diary. Dude, I feel weird. Like, like the, I'm talking the trash can is me to the camera. And I'm what? Like, just yeah. Bring my bag. Exactly. It's like, what are they doing to us? No, no, leave. You're literally, you can walk and look at your bag the whole time and throw it away and then come back. It's like, it's another form of mental what? conditioning. <laughs> Dude, what if it's all dream? Oh, oh God. All right. I'm still waiting for you. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh man! <laughs> All right, man. It's I gotta been, go to middle school. <laughs> it's been forty minutes. Forty we, minutes of sleep, and I'm tired, dude. Yeah, I think we should that, call that, it because I'm I'm literally starving. I'm starving too. Maybe we continue sleep another time because, like, we talked about it, but like, we didn't even get into like I have three pages. I'm sorry. Yeah, we we no no uh, we're we, chill. I love it, dude. I didn't realize how much you had planned. <laughs> no, nothing. This I haven't looked at these since 2016. I There's so many. It's a breakdown of the phases, the different waves. Dwight Eisenhower in World War II general, 43rd president, up to four hours, down one hour for four years. That was like his sleep schedule for oh my a long time when he God. was freaking crushing it. Um, recommended sleep amounts for your different ages, infant, teens, and adults. It's good stuff and a conclusion statement. Dude, when I take notes, I'll, I'll take notes. Dang. So Dang. maybe we'll get into this next time because I'm starving and, and I think that was a good freaking conversation, honestly. It was a good conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Right on par with what we normally do. Yeah. <laughs> we talk we talk about one thing and bounce around a bunch. We'll talk some shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's go eat. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you're entertained. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the other episodes that pop up over here. Oh, you'll hear that after because I did the promo statement. Hey. Yeah. Say something nice about Joe in the comment section down below. Joe, do it. Always, thanks for coming on. Let's hey man, eat. thanks for having me on. Let's let's go cook. Yeah, let's eat. All right. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, click one of these other suggested videos and take another deep dive into your daily conversation.